am a pastor here in Laramie, Wyoming, and I moved here 13 years ago to launch Whitewater Christian Church. This uh, people, this community, had quickly become home to me uh, in a very short amount of time. I came from Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, a little rural community, uh, and so similar Midwest vibes that, that we get here, but uh, it's even a younger population and, and just uh, some, some great folks just living here. Supposed to get the COVID vaccine. Uh, my mother and my brother were diagnosed around the same time. My mother was diagnosed with ALS in the fall of 2019, and my brother was diagnosed with uh, skin cancer in uh, the fall of 2019, almost to the day, uh, same diagnosis. And so when the vaccines became available, uh, to me it was a no-brainer to be available first and foremost to people here in Laramie, uh, how I could best be of help there without missing a beat. And I thought if a vaccine will help me be available in those moments, then by all means, I, I wanna be all things to all people. And so same thing with my family, my brother and my mother. My brother actually just passed away from cancer in November, uh, but I wanted to be available for whatever he would need uh, in, in his time of, of just uh, dying and dying well. And, and we're still doing that with my mother. In fact, she was one of the early vaxxers uh, because of her diagnosis. She didn't wanna have that hurdle alongside of ALS. And so she was vaccinated as well. Uh, my children, oddly enough, they just were vaccinated yesterday and we had given them uh, not an ultimatum or uh, saying this is uh, something you have to do. We gave them a choice and said, what, what do you feel about this? How, how do you feel about this? And other than the, uh, the nervousness of being a, a kid and not liking needles or shots, uh, they said, no, we wanna be this because we too wanna be all things to all people and be available to help if, if need be. So, uh, and so for me, it wasn't a, a hesitancy at all. Uh, in, in, in those terms, my side effects just included a really, really sore arm. And, and it felt like somebody just punched me as hard as they could for like three days straight. Know that I wanna preserve relationship with them no matter what side of the fence they're on and their relationship with me and their decisions don't necessarily affect my action. And my action is to be proactive in, in how I'm, I'm living and so I can be the best I can again for, for people around me and, and for my family. And so um, I, I usually just am allowed to share my story in that and they share their story and sometimes we agree to disagree and other times, you know, they say, oh, I haven't thought of those things before. I have choice to make. And, and my choice was to make the choice to be vaccinated and my family's choice, uh, they all tumbled to the same thing um, uh, in, in their own minds. And so I, I'm an advocate of vaccination and, and to do so, I, I called my doctor to do so. I called uh, uh, the clinics that were offering the vaccinations and just said, which one's right for me? And at that time, uh, the one-shotter is what I got. And, and they just said, any vaccination is worthy of your arm. And so that's what I promote, that's what I, that's what I speak to.